These times are urgent. Let us slow down. If you have told me that that morning before our collision, I would have protested vehemently. I could not possibly slow down, and neither should you. <laughs> but in the years since, I have heard this call reverberated. Different takes on it echoed by activists and thinkers working at the intersection of multiple oppressions. People like Ebony Janice Moore and Angel Kyoto Williams and Adrian Marie Brown and Alexis Pauline Gums. Meeting urgency with urgency, they say, will not get us where we need to go. On the most practical level, we know that rushing can slow us down. Daniel shared that insight so well. The dinner turned up too high, burned, that small mistake made while moving frantically, costing hours in repair. But even in the moments where rushing seems to save time, there's a cost. Operating from a place of urgency can keep us stuck in the same tired patterns trying the same things and expecting different results, fighting fire with fire. We can miss opportunities and resources that are all around us. At worst, our hurry can unwittingly reproduce the harmful patterns of the very systems we are fighting. It can incentivize sacrificing the necessary and slow work of building relationships and coalitions for measurable short-term gains. Urgency thinking can diminish creativity and narrow our view, leading us to forego reflection or strategic planning that might make our work more effective. It can have us working when we need to be resting, locked into an unsustainable cycle of doing that ultimately burns us out. A lot of this, I think, is intuitive. We see it play out in our everyday lives. One piece, though, that just dawned on me is the way that urgency requires disconnection. It disconnects us from the heart that inspired the urgency in the first place. At its worst, urgency uses action to fix or distract from feelings of pain for the world, the heartache the fear that woke us up in the middle of the night, the love for life that undergirds it all, all of those deeply important human emotions lost in the rush to action. We know that these times are urgent. Faced with a warming climate, the legacy of centuries of white supremacy and colonialism, the persistent impacts of intersecting oppressions that harm every one of us. There is no time to waste. These times call us to channel the urgency we feel into steady, wise action. We will need every ounce of creativity and capacity that we can muster. We will need creative and courageous tools, frameworks, and ways of working together. We will need to be grounded in our bodies, our feelings, our values. And we will need a community that can hold us through it all. Community like this one. Ready to rise to the urgency of this time thoughtfully and effectively. Ready to feel, to reflect, and to act 